previously on Resident Evil Revelations. <laughs> Approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous at the ship's hall. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secret she keeps. What secrets? <laughs> Jessica, why did you fire? Raymond? Why? Why play the part of Veltro? What do you mean? Find the truth about Terracrecia. So this is the secret of Zenobia. Ooh. No exit. So what the hell did you do? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. Hmm. Ah. Don't tell me the battery's dead. Oh, this blows. The upside is this whole conspiracy is becoming clearer. Back to the airport on the double. Uh, hey man, so hold up. <sighs> Nobody's home. Even the other team's packed it in. So what are we doing here? <laughs> it's okay. I set up a back door. I can use any PDA to get us in. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? If my theory is correct, then the truth about Veltro is really... too early to say. Are you kidding me? I don't want to jump to conclusions. I need more intel. Everyone, Sigmulator right, here. Find that computer. There's an area we haven't explored over here. My only hope is that it has a high-powered CPU. That would be hit. Welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. Been a little bit since I've played this because I've been recording a lot of Outlast. It's a field I knew Belt was involved. The thing is, they haven't been the whole time. What? Who cares? Just shoot, goddammit! There's someone that didn't want around if Beltro came back. So they had to shake this up. No, now's not the time for conspiracy theories. That up. Nothing in there. Alright, I can pick these up that I forgot to get last time. There was another one over here. Alright. Alright, let's go, team. Oh good, this doesn't scream Battle Arena at all. There. I'm keeping my shotgun. So 
sniper rifle. Something in there. Another herb. Excellent. Hmm? Is that a real in the flesh MB28? Slinger, it's what I always wanted. You take the gadgets like a fly to horse shit. It's just a computer. Okay, down to brass tacks. What the hell? Nothing's happening. What did you do, Quinn? It's not me. I need more power. The mb 28s a real gas guzzler. There's got to be a generator around here. I need it. Okay. You stay here and spend quality time with your girlfriend. Here we go. I hope this rusty piece of crap works. Okay, there's one. There's not enough power to fully charge the mb 28 Are there any other generators? Yep, yeah, here we go. All right, full power. Initiate analysis. So you get anything? No, I gotta get through the layers of encryption on this thing first. But that should only take a few minutes with me and my baby MB-28. to me. Anything else? Ow! the machine gun for a bit. Make a chromium 
Fuck. Damn it. And keep that genie in the bottle until I come back. Okay, I think it's safe to have a look at this data now. Ready? Hold your horses. I'll be there in a sec. Ugh. Explains it. Explains what? Who's behind Veltro? Yeah, probably. There's only one way to find out. Let's ask him ourselves. Uh, this is Forkball. O'Brien here. Huh? What the hell? O'Brien's our man? Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. Veltro was never back in action. It was all smoke and mirrors, orchestrated by yourself. Your own little Veltro production. All to get into the head of one certain somebody. Ah, uh, you pretty much got it. I'm glad I'm not paying you for nothing. I analyzed his log, sir, and there's something you may want to see. Then let me see it. Yes, sir. I'll send it immediately. What's going on? Connection error? Oh, we've been detected! Oh. Hey, what? Two boys, uncovering secrets, wanted dead or alive, just like a falcon in a snowman! You wanna start with your insane idiot? Dude! Hold up! I'm on! Oh no, the download's restarted, so maybe they're, uh, maybe they're not dead. Quick save. I know it auto saves, but I like to make sure. And we'll carry on. So again, that was quite a short one. The virus. We need to stop the virus from getting out. I know. The control system must be in the lab. Whoa. I see. Well, that's that side deactivated at least. Okay, we, we, we took it all down. 
Fair enough, that's good to know. Health, thank you. Ah. Machine gun ammo. which I don't have. I'll pick that up in a second. Anything else? Ooh, what's this? Ammo case. Yes. Completion of new type virus. The T-Abyss virus contains genetic material from both the Abyss and the T-Virus. In, in of itself, it is not much of a threat, but it has allowed us to lay the groundwork for, for the study of weaponized marine viruses. I fear, however, that my name will someday be known as will be known for assisting with the production of the world's most terrible weapon. If a concentrated liquid form of the virus were to be released in a large enough area of the sea, our data indicate that it would contaminate all of the world's oceans in a very short time, starting with bacteria at the point of contamination and then causing a chain reaction that would impact all forms of sea life. Once the T-Abyss virus contaminates an area of the sea, it will cause mutations at the genetic level to all life forms in the area. It would be impossible to predict and impossible, uh, impossible, impossible to predict the severe ecological impact on humanity. I have doubts as to whether the research I'm, go I'm doing here is actually to prevent bioterrorism and biohazardous outbreaks. Ugh. I think that that's a definite no on that one. I was literally just about to say that I haven't seen any more handprints. Magnum is full. Grab you in a second. Ooh, the legal custom part. Lovely. Target not found, it's right there. Alright. Magnum full. What's this? Veltral Agent Journal 2. 2004, mission elapsed time plus two days. The mission was a success. Terra Grigia is now a full blown hell on Earth. We unleashed the ultimate virus to rend the city with terror. And violence. The FBC sent its soldiers, but they were like lambs before lions. We have achieved our goal. The world, the world will know that they do not have to wait for hell. It's already here. Open your eyes, world. Open your eyes to the truth. Bernard Corti. Mission elapsed time five plus days. The ship has been contaminated. The virus has turned my comrades into horrible monsters, and these monsters turn everyone else into monsters. Why is this happening? We were going to bring hell to the masses, not have hell brought to us. The same thing is happening at the Semira Semiramis. The virus has contaminated all the ships. It cannot be a coincidence. Someone was using us all along. But who? None of us would betray Veltro. The only one who would do this is our mysterious financer. He's the only one who's not here. Norman. We need your guidance. Deliver us from this evil. The rest of the paper is missing. Interesting. Now that, that you're out of there, is there anything in there? No. Fair enough. I think this is the lab's control system. I think you could be right there, Chris. Does it work? We need a passcode to activate the neutralizing agent. 
Okay, I'll sweep the lab, see what I can find. Good. Need some time to figure out these controls. I cracked the code on the door. Opening it now. Be careful in there. Will do. You can count on it. All right, good luck, Chris. Oh, joy. Okay. Pretty sure I didn't actually touch anything. Okay, still can't get in there. Huh? I told you to be careful. Who knows what kind of BOWs we're up against? That's a big one. Damn it. Which is a lot of uh, magnum rounds, unfortunately. Now we're getting somewhere. We are indeed. Magnum machine gun bullets. Make sure I can copy the passcode here, but I need an employee number first. All right, this device is used for inoculations. Ah, vaccine. Back to oh, the big fish dude is not happy. Oh, look at that! Oh, hang on, there might be goodies up there. Let's have a look. Oh, there is, there's some custom parts. Bullets, some of those, thank you. Excellent, I'm glad I went up there. Infection log for Queen Zenobia, researcher Ryan ID. There we go. 
After the final note was played in the tragic in the tragedy known as Terra Grigio Panic, we seized the ship and began to carry out our mission quickly and secretly. The Regis Solis destroyed the city, now this ship is the only place where we can observe the spread and mutation of the T Abyss along with ancillary research. This is the perfect environment to conduct research and we must make the most of it. The only setback is the hosts infected with the T Abyss virus. This will make research very difficult for us. It will not last long as a place of research and science before the entire place is overwhelmed with creatures. We must act quickly. Our research on the virus has proceeded rather smoothly and we were able to develop a proper vaccine with all our goals accomplished. There is no longer any need for this ship. We have decided to abandon it. A few members of our team did not survive long enough to see this moment, but that is the cost of doing research. When we told Lansdale about our breakthrough with the vaccine, he showed uncharacteristic felicity. There is something scribbled in after the, an area where pages are torn out. As soon as the research data was sent, the doors to the facility were shut and the BOWs awakened from their cryogenic sleep. I don't understand how I could have missed seeing that Veltro wasn't the only disposable pawn in all of this. Almost funny, really. I see now that it was he who arranged for all these things to come to pass. He gave the terrorists the tier base virus, which led to the Terra Grisha panic, that gave us lots of valuable data on infection, which led to the eventual development of the vaccine. And thanks to his position of authority, he used the Regis Solus to eradicate the virus, the terrorists, and all of the fools in that city. Any traces or links to us vanished with it. The end result, however, is that the world is now afraid of the virus, and the FBC's charter has been strengthened and expanded. I am awestruck with the degree of perfection with which Lansdale orchestrated all these events. This is one for the history books for sure. Hopefully the demand for this vaccine will bring the rest of us the accolades and riches we so justly deserve. The rest of the scribble is illegible. Chris, you're not going to believe what I just learned. Morgan Lansdale of the FBC was behind the attacks on Terra Grigia. So that's what Raymond was talking about. Seems like it. All I have is circumstantial evidence. Nothing to nail him for it yet. Alright. Then let's go get find something concrete. Vaccine has been injected. Wait. Hope this vaccine really works. Download complete. Certification code. Excellent. Whoa, okay. Are you serious? Surely that would be turned off. I can't even see it. Because I can't use the thing. Try this again, shall we? Jill, Jill, come in. Do you read me? Answer me, damn it. This is an emergency. Get back here now. Uh, 
Oh, I could swim above it. I got the passcode. Good work. Now let's neutralize that virus. Before we do that. Oh, there it is. Need to do some changes. Oh my god, I know. Right. Uh increase the damage. Fire rate for you. I'll swap you out. I'm going to swap you out as well. What does that do? Drug gun scatter range becomes narrower. That sounds useful. Then we're ready. Confirmed. Initiating virus neutralization program. Well done, PSAA. Your activities have been eye opening. Morgan Lansdale. I knew O'Brien's dog Raven were snipping around my business. I didn't account for your involvement. So it was you. You attacked Terra Grigia. Jill, look out. It looks like my mistakes are about to be remedied. You are so... Oh, for f Could you stop? Did we win? Virus neutralization complete. Ah, I should have expected a sign from the duo who brought down Umbrella. However, your days of playing cops and robbers are over. Huh. I do hope you understand the gravity of my making a personal appearance. I have a great weakness. I am fearful of things. Even little things, and must clean up every last imperfection. The BSAA, my dear Director O'Brien, your whole organization, you cause nothing but trouble. Surely you didn't expect me to just let you snoop around unbridled. 
Don't kid yourselves. Have a look. Your destiny is in my hands. What the? The Queen Zenobia. The plot thickens. No exit. Oh god, that's terrible accuracy. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'll settle for A rank. I prefer S. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Resident Evil Revelations. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.